Hi, Wayne White here. Uh, I'm a watercolor artist, and uh, I like to paint, to paint on location when I, when I can. And so today I'm going to show you some easy steps to take to set up an, uh, a clean air studio so you can uh, go very lot. You don't want to carry a lot of equipment because sometimes you're going to have to walk quite a ways to find the location you want to paint. So, so you want to you want it to be be very simple. So you need you need a stool. You need a stool to sit on. This is my art stool. And then then you sit on that and then then of course you need uh, you need an, uh, something to paint on, right? So you can set up set up uh, an easel. This is what I use for an easel. It's, it's a, a fold-out box. I, I don't know what it's made for, but it, it's great for my purpose. This is my easel, and then I have, then I have an, another one, the same thing, just a little different color, and and this is what this will be. This, this will be my tabaret. And this is where I put put my um, uh, my palette. How you need a uh, a compact palette. And I, I have several of these. This is a Windsor Newton, and it's. Uh, it's I'm trying to, there, there we go. Open that up, and you have a few basic colors. So that's my. Let's see, then, then you want to put, put a towel over there because you're going to get a lot of paint all over. And then you want to put a towel over your tabaret, I mean, I mean your easel, it's your easel. Then, then you need something to paint on uh, other other than uh, your, your uh, flat easel huh. and, and of course you need brushes you, you, you really don't need as many brushes as I carry. You, you can probably get by with three or four. I, I just happen to have a lot more, a lot more than that. I keep adding to it. But, uh, this is uh, this is my 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 carry all my carrier. I carry all my brushes. I this this is. Actually, this is to carry small tools in, and I bought this in England at a one-pound store. Paid one pound for it. And I thought this would be ideal for my brushes, and it is. I've, I've, I've been carrying this around now for about 25 years. So that, And of course, you need, you need to carry water. In this, or whiskey, but I carry water. And then, and then we have this uh, collapsible water bowl. You, you can 
collapse it and it doesn't take up any room. And that's going to be for the water. Then in the bag, always carry extra paint. Yeah, I've got a whole bag full of extra paint and uh, uh, tissue paper. And set up now. So after you after you assembled your uh, clean air watercolor stick, find a a good location, find an interesting landscape to paint, and and uh, and go at it. So the next segment, I'm going to do just that. So stick around. Hi, uh, Wayne White, back again. Uh, I showed you how to set up through a plein air painting with uh, simple equipment, and now I'm going to do one. Hopefully, uh, this time. Uh, since I'm not going to be in person at Yosemite, I've got a picture of Yosemite Falls. And I'm going to do this because it doesn't require a lot of colors, so I can, I can work, I can work uh, rapidly. So I'm going to clip this picture there at the corner. And I've got some colors I'm going to need and then I need some Payne's, Payne's gray because there's lots of gray in there and and I have my my bottle of water it's not brandy, water. Fill up my little water tub. Now uh, my wa my water's ready, and I've got I got my um, uh, a hickey brush, which I'm gonna uh, a big brush that I am gonna water down the back of this paper with. If I don't, it's gonna ra gonna wrinkle when I start painting. I'm gonna soak the back of the paper with water. And it's a very hot day, so I have to work fast. I have to work fast anyway because the conditions change sometimes by the minute. The clouds move, the wind and wind starts up or stops so the faster you work the better okay there's that side I, I want to put some color in some I wash it down really fast so I'll start with this guy up there very light up there And then a wash of, of, of gray here, the cliffs, the cliffs on the side of the waterfall. There you'll find that sometimes it's kind of awkward if to keep from falling over at times.
more often I use a smaller sheet because it's easier to handle. Bringing out cropping there. Notice I have the paper at an angle and slope down and uh, that's because I want the water and the paint to flow down. I don't want it to flow up. It's really awesome and it's a wonderful place to paint. Okay, I, I think I think I'm going about as far as I can now. This is my my quick sketch of Yosemite. Here's here, here's my photo. This was done uh, pretty fast and quick, and I, I it didn't wrinkle, thank goodness, because I I had wet the back. So this will be this will be all for now. Uh, I'll look at it for a couple days and I'll probably come back and uh, do some touch-up. I'm sure there's, there's more I can do with it, but for now I've got the essentials down. The fall, Yosemite Falls, the cliffside, the pine trees, and the, the green outcroppings along the cliffs. So, well, until next time, this is Wayne White saying so long.